Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove a background from an image. So I've got this particular image open of this lovely lady drinking some tea or coffee from her mug and she has pretty bland background although beautiful. I would like to remove it. So there's a few, well there's many different ways you can do this. So let's get started. Really we'd like to start with the selection tool and as you know from previous videos there are many selection tools. But the two I'm going to cover in this video are here and if I just click on there and I'll hold it down you can see we've got the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. So if I just select the magic wand tool and they, their shortcut is W. You can just click on an area and it will select it. You can also change the tolerance so it will select more or less of similar colours depending on the tolerance that you set. If you hold down shift on your keyboard the next time you click it will link up the next selection and you can just get these little dots here that are missing and so on. So you could take the whole background and if you do find you get an area like that you can just hold down alt and that will just get rid of that bit when you click. You can see the icon change from a plus which will be there when you press shift to a minus when which is there when you press alt. If you want to deselect you can just press down control D on your keyboard or you can go up to here and press deselect like that. All shortcuts are listed next to the instructions there as well. Another way to do it here is to get the quick select tool and we can do this on the background or we can do it on the woman so I'm just press ctrl d to get rid of those and if you notice there wherever I clicked I didn't have to hold down shift it just added it to my selection. To make the brush size of this larger or smaller you use the left and right square bracket so it's left square bracket for smaller right square bracket for larger. Then I can drag my select tool as I want around the background. You can see how much easier that is to use. If you do something wrong, like this part here, I can press Alt on my keyboard and just fix that up. So only while I'm holding Alt will it do that. I've got a tiny bit of hair there, so I probably want to take that back and her arm as well with the sunlight oh and we can fix all this in a very easy way we also want this part and this part and it's nice that you don't have to worry about accidentally losing your selection and things like that so now we can see down here we might just want to zoom in a bit which we can do by pressing Control and plus as many times as we like and this bit needs some touching up so I'm just going to zoom across here make my brush a little smaller and just add that into the selection get it as tight as I can and then take that away Add that bit in. Okay, you can zoom out now. So then now, now we've done that, and that's great. We've taken as much of like the background. We're taking as much of the background away from her as possible. So what we need to do then is click Refine Edge. And this will just make the edging a lot better. So as you can see, like some of the edging isn't right. It's probably best to 
you can change like the viewing mode if you were cutting out the woman from the background this would be great to do as well we probably don't need to change that right now for this um but it's good just to try and smooth out the edges so that they're not blocky in any way you can feather them as well you can also shift the edge so we're removing the background from the image so we probably want to make it so that there's no background left on her so we want to make sure that the, she does have a border there so there we go so now we need to take away the background so we're going to fill it so we need to go to edit and then fill and then we can set it to foreground colour, background colour, whichever colour we want. We can bring in another image if we put her on a different layer. For now, I'm going to set it to a flat light blue and leave everything else normal. And now we can see she is on a completely flat background. The background has been removed. I can press Ctrl D to deselect her and that is her on a completely flat background. You can see that there are no remnants of the background around her. So that is how you would remove a background from an image using your selection tools. I hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next tutorial.